Work has recently finished here at Gerard House on Fontney Way as part of the Homes for Wandsworth programme and the wider autumn renewal. We are building a thousand new quality council homes because we know that a decent home is a foundation for a decent life. And now that residents are starting to move into their new homes, I've come here to visit some of them and hear their experiences. My previous house, it was four bedrooms. One of my son is 21 now, so he moved. We used to live in a house which is upgraded and we know how it feels. We have a chance to keep up and others can benefit. That's why we decided to do that. They interview us and when I tell them we want to downsize, they will say, okay, we give you form and you fill it. It was easy and straight away we started the process. The team was amazing. They offered us this one. Not straight crazy. away, everybody was happy, Not kids crazy. happy. Yeah, 100%. This is absolutely beautiful. We really love this house so much. I like it. it's the garden, the safety for the CC camera, main entry. They have a lot of storage, so you can make the house more neat and nice. Me, I can't wait to have my coffee outside. <laughs> Roehampton is a very green area. You've got Richmond Park. I do also football coach. I work as a volunteer in Elaise Community Charity. Football is my, my life. <laughs> It's been amazing moving into Gerard's house. I was in a two bedroom flat. It was really overcrowded. Everyone was just on top of each other and then we'd find the younger ones would end up coming into our bed and then there was just no space for us. I got a phone call at the school and I was crying and the teacher was like, what's going on? And I told them they were all hugging me. They've known Mason was diagnosed with type one diabetic. He's asthmatic, he's got the ADHD, so he's got a lot going on. But moving here, we're in a four bedroom with outside space, which is really good for the boys. It's impacted Mason a lot. Since being here, he slept in his own bed every single night. And that's coming up to just over a week. I just like to play a bit in the garden by myself. That's more space for my ADHD. It makes me feel calm. We got space down here to ride bikes and a garden for a little football pitch. His friend has moved in as well upstairs. He's been down here playing around. He's so energetic. And then for me and Dee, you know, it's been life changing. We've got a bed back and a bedroom back. And Mark said that he's going to start inviting friends over now because there was literally no room to move. In my old house, it was a one bedroom, very small kitchen, very small bedroom. And with four of us, it's very difficult. So obviously, because my oldest one, who's eight, he has ADHD and autism, having a small one bedroom, he would run around and run into walls. When I got the call, I was overjoyed. Here he has the freedom to be able to move around the house. He has the energy. We've got a lovely green area at the bottom, a little park in the corner. And obviously having his own space is something very big for him. So he has his own bedroom. If he's having a bad day, he can always obviously close his door and say, you know what, I need a little bit of time, which we couldn't really do before. But he is a lot happier now. He's happy to come home from school. He's happy to have friends up. He's excited about his next birthday. Because again, that's nothing I've really been able to do in my own home, is have a birthday party for either of them. And I'm a lot calmer now that I've got my own room where I know that when I have people up, for example, they're not going to be in my bedroom. They're actually going to be in the living room, which I have not had for about eight years. <laughs> the men Rissa club room is right literally down the road. They have events on there every Saturday. My kids always go. So we went to the Roehampton's Got Talent they had and obviously we put the headphones on him. Gerard House is providing 14 free and four bed homes, including two for wheelchair users with new landscaping and a play area. Every single home we build like this is another family off the council waiting list and into secure tenancies. Families like the Mahmouds, like Donna and her son and like others who are moving in. And that's why our Homes for Wandsworth programme is so ambitious and it's delivering high quality homes that we can all be proud of. And you should see the views of Richmond Park.